Hey, I'm Scott Hayes, and I'm your instructor today. Our lesson, the articles, A and the. The objective of today's lesson, learn how to properly use articles in your writing. Now, I know you're using these articles in your writing. I know you know how to spell these words, A, and, and the, but not all of you understand how to use them correctly, okay? Lesson, ESL students often confuse the use of these tiny words, which indicate that a noun, a person, place, or thing is coming, though it may not always be the next word. So here we go. Pay close attention. A and an are called indefinite articles because they refer to something nonspecific. Indefinite, nonspecific. You should use a when the word immediately following is a consonant sound, and you should use an when the word immediately following is a vowel sound. What's a vowel? A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, the vowel sounds. A turtle, a turtle, an unattractive turtle. Did you notice the difference there? A turtle or an unattractive turtle. A blue umbrella, easy enough, right? An umbrella, because of the vowel sound, an umbrella. A silk dress, a silk dress, and here comes the next one. I think you know what's coming. An unattractive silk dress, an unattractive silk dress. The is called a definite article because it refers to something very specific, a specific noun. So here's the recap. A, an equals the indefinite articles, right? And the is the definite articles. So here, let's say, for example, that I want to say, let's eat the cake. Then I mean a very specific cake. Uh, let's eat the birthday cake, right? But if, on the other hand, I say, let's eat a cake, then I mean, let's just eat a piece of cake of any of the cakes sitting on the table. Non-specific. Here's another example for you. Let's go to the movies. It means a very specific movie, the movies, very specific, as opposed to say, let's go see a movie, which means let's go see any movie we want uh, as long as it's before 5 o'clock. You get it? Excellent. More examples here, so pay attention. Marty reached for a bottle of water, easy enough. A horse from the stall broke free. A horse from the stall broke free. Adrian grabbed an orange for lunch. Notice the vowel sound there, an orange for lunch. An insect, there's that vowel again, an insect crossed, crawled across Jennifer's arm, right? Next one, tram wore the hat she purchased online. And the sun is typically bright as noon. The sun is typically bright at noon. Now, a word beginning with the letter H may have either an initial consonant sound, such as a hole, or as you see here, it could have a vowel sound, such as an heiress. That's a weird, strange rule that you're going to have to sort of remember. Um, don't use a or an with nouns that can't be counted. Now, what do I mean by nouns that can't be counted? You ask for it, here it comes. Bread, candy, salt, oil, paper, wood, information, poverty, homework, clothing, money, nouns, right, that can't be counted. And also, by the way, don't use with plural nouns. Don't use articles with plural nouns. For example, costumes, boxes, kisses, glasses, postcards, etc. Now, caution here, warning, warning. In the case of articles, you will find examples where choosing the correct article or even whether or not you should use an article will prove challenging. These exceptions, you're just going to have to memorize. There are always exceptions to the rule. Those you need to memorize, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's run an assessment test here. For each of the following sentences, determine whether the article should be a, an, or the, or perhaps whether the article should be omitted altogether. In other words, you don't need an article whatsoever. 
There are 10 of these, and I expect 10 out of 10. Here we go. Number one, blank college is closed today. This should be easy. The college is closed today. The college is closed today. Number two, blank apple a day is good for you. There's that vowel sound. What are we going to put there? An apple a day is good for you. An apple a day is good for you. We all know that, right? Number three, can you tell me how to get to blank Lady Gaga concert? Can you tell me how to get to the Lady Gaga concert? Let's be honest. There's only one Lady Gaga in the world, right? Number four, I can't believe I failed blank today's test. This is a challenging one. Do you know it? I can't believe I failed today's test. There's no article. Imagine how this might sound if you used an article. I can't believe I failed a today's test and today's test. No, doesn't sound right. Number five, this is blank hard question. There's that H sound. Do you remember the rule? This is a hard question. This is a hard question. This is a hard question. Number six, Khan took blank ugly umbrella to work today. There's the vowel sound, that U sound. Khan took an ugly umbrella to work today. Khan took an ugly umbrella to work today. Number seven, my first apartment was on blank Oahu Street. If you miss anyone, it may be this one, so think carefully. Are you ready? No article. My first apartment was on Oahu Street. Easy enough. Number eight, is there a blank ATM machine nearby? A, vowel, ATM machine. Is there an ATM machine nearby? Is there an ATM machine nearby? Easy enough, right? Number nine, two more. Spencer is wearing blank blue baseball hat. This should be relatively easy by now, no? Spencer is wearing a blue baseball cap. It's a, it's, a, it's a baseball cap, right? Number 10, here we go. Fardad broke blank window with a rock. Last one. Fardad broke the window with a rock. In fact, it was my window. It was that specific. Okay, my name is Scott Hayes. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.